Halo guys, ketemu lagi di channel kita di Hobi Santai guys. Oke, kali ini Hobi Santai main game Minecraft Story Mode ya guys ya. Ini season 2-nya guys. Oke, Hobi Santai akan lanjutkan lagi guys. Kemarin yang episode pertama sudah selesai guys ya. Hobi Santai akan lanjutkan ke episode keduanya guys. Oke guys. Jadi langsung saja kita lanjut ya guys ya. Lanjut ke episode kedua guys. Oke, okay, episode keduanya itu adalah Giant apa nih? Giant cons consequence ya. Oke, okay, consequence guys. Berarti ya konsekuensi dari apa ya? Dari raksasa ya. Berarti ada raksasa. Oke okay, guys, kemarin kan terakhir di episode 1 itu ada raksasa yang mau menyerang di konsisi ya guys ya. Oke, okay, langsung kita lanjutkan saja guys. Oke, okay, power control and merge in big big control ya guys ya and subject this to some risk and deadly ya. Oke, okay, apakah kali ini Jess bisa bertarung untuk menyelamatkan dunia, guys? Atau tidak, guys? Oke, okay, langsung saja kita mulai, guys, episode keduanya, guys. Oke, okay, semoga kalian menyukainya dan selamat menonton, guys. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought impossible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day. And everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. Guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like looking right at you. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse, what's going on here? Gauntlet bearer? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. I don't like it. No, sir, I do not like it. Uh, everyone, everyone, hi. There's nothing to worry about. The giant prismarine colossus and I are gonna work this out and everything can get back to normal, I swear. Okay, so, an admin. A huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. Don't worry, everyone. I'm gonna try talking to it. Okay, diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Para. I'll test my patience. Guess you should get up there. 
Gauntlet bearer? Clay, coming your way! Thanks, Nell. Perfect. There you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Oh, 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 oh. This is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? to tempt you down to the Sea Temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight! Fight me, champion! Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> okay, I get it now. You are totally cuckoo. Uh, uh, hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. So much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. Good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh. Not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger. Like, uh... Like the structure block! Buy me time. I'm gonna plant some arrow towers. That should make Tall, Dark, and Ugly regret smashing my town. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. I'll take you down one block at a time! <laughs> block ha uh ha -huh. finders keepers this tiny thing won't save you jesse not from me <laughs> okay this is a little intense but i guess a giant colossus did follow me home oh. The champion should be better than this. If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up.
seen it before. Prismarine soldiers back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you alright? I mean, he really had you up there. Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course! <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You can't Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Yeah. Please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Right. See what you got. Yeah. Not in there. Yeah. I knew. Eventually. You don't know anything about me. <gasps> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if... Oops. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, Admin. Oh boy. Do you really think you can defeat me, Jesse? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence. The mark of a true hero. Oh guys, <laughs> harusnya tadi langsung bergerak ya guys ya. Hobi santai nggak tahu. Kirain tunggu apa? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, admin. Oh boy. Do you really think you can defeat me, Jet? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence.
Oke okay guys, berhasil kalahkan si Giant Golem guys ya. <laughs> Adminnya berhasil kita kalahkan guys. No. That was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the Googlies take me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? You make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. My, my uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Uh, yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. Why are you apologizing? It's not your fault. No, it, it was like a... I feel terrible, I'm sorry. And, um... <sighs> When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. Well, maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. 
Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy. Sekarang bikin tutupnya guys, atapnya, atapnya, atapnya
atapnya guys ya. Santai lagi bikin atapnya. Uh, lama lagi. Oke hancurkan guys. Sepertinya yang asli lebih bagus ya. daripada yang dibikin lebih santai. dari sini udahlah biarin aja di dalam ya guys ya <laughs> kan tidak terlihat ya guys ya tidak terlihat campur warnanya guys ada atapnya sekarang sampingnya guys maka biarkan kosong seperti itu saja guys. ini di depannya mau kita apain guys kita kasih gas apa ya kita kasih kaca ya udah gak bisa guys hanya bisa di bagian mana ya Ya sudahlah, berarti seperti ini saja guys ya. Oke, jelek guys. Tapi nggak apa-apa lah ya. Daripada nggak ada guys. Oke lah. It's perfect. I'm done. There. <laughs> that is a monument fit for Ruben. <laughs> kandang guys. Oh bisa nanti bikinkan dia kandang. Bukan I itu. know. I <laughs> never met Robin. Ruben. Oh right. Righteous. Oh by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Come on, you remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was... artful. Ah, the old humble silent hero approach. <laughs> nice. One I've never been terribly good at. Always been more of a people person, you know? That's why I started my shop in the first place. <laughs> you, you know? It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be <coughs> sure. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about uh, for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Love theoretical conversations. Oh, okay. yes, yes, quite. You guys can talk about having some new adventure plan. What do I care? Huh. I guess that's true. Yeah, we've just got a new expedition on the horizon. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, possible stuff. Were you even gonna tell me or were you just gonna sneak off? Of 
Of course I was gonna tell you! I was just working up to it. Slowly. Um. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. It was kind of cuddly, right? Hold up, that was your idea of fun? Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. Oh, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Not again. You hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. I know you have your plans or whatever, but. Leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent? Or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. You're putting innocent people in danger just for your games? Yeah, well, technically, you're the one putting them in danger if you don't go after the clock. So... Uh... Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously! I mean, this is gonna be epic! What? Oh, come on! Time to show this goon what the Skitaro Crag Jumpers do to town destroyers! You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Strays, pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye bye now. Oh, we need to protect the people. Run! Hide everyone! <laughs> 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 untuk episode yang kali ini kita sampai di sini dulu ya guys ya untuk episode 2 nya guys oke nanti kita akan lanjutkan lagi di video berikutnya guys oke terima kasih banyak guys sudah menonton video ini dari awal sampai dengan akhir semoga kalian terhibur ya guys ya lalu kalau bisa bantu like dan subscribe nya juga guys oke sampai ketemu lagi guys bye